Day 4. Letting go of your past. Today you start to let go, release blame, forgive, and move on. How did you do yesterday? Do you feel that you are learning to let go of some of your past hurts and tune your self-talk to a more positive channel? I am so proud of you for loving yourself enough to do these lessons every day and to use your mirror work to reprogram all the old tapes you have been playing in your head. Ever since we were little children, every message we have received, everything we have said, everything we have done, everything we have experienced has been recorded and stored in the filing cabinet in our core, our gut, our solar plexus. I like to imagine that there are little messengers in there and that all our thoughts and experiences are recorded on tapes that the messengers put in the appropriate files. Many of us have been accumulating files with labels like, I'm not good enough, I'll never make it, I don't do anything right. We are buried under piles of old negative tapes. Today, we're going to surprise the little messengers. We're going to do our mirror work and send new messages to our core. I am willing to let go. I release blame. I am ready to forgive. The messengers will pick up these new messages and say, What's this? Where does this get filed? We've never seen this one before. Can you imagine how wonderful it would be if every day you learned a new way to let go of the past and create harmony in your life? My dear ones, you have already started by doing your daily mirror work. Each day you are clearing out the layers, the blocks of the past. Each time you say an affirmation in front of the mirror, you are removing another layer. What are the layers of your past that are keeping you from living a happy and fulfilling life? What are the blocks preventing you from forgiving yourself and your past? I think we have trouble identifying these blocks because we honestly don't know what we want to let go of. We know what is not working in our life, and we know what we want to have in our life, yet we don't know what's holding us back. Everything in your life is a mirror of who you are. Just as a mirror reflects your image, your experiences reflect your inner beliefs. You can literally look at your experiences and determine what your beliefs are. If you look at the people in your life, you will see that they are all mirroring some belief you have about yourself. If you are always being criticized at work, it is probably because you are critical and have become the parent who criticized you as a child. Remember, when something that's happening in your life does not feel comfortable to you, you have the opportunity to look inside and ask, how am I contributing to this experience? What is it within me that believes I deserve this? How can I change this belief? How can I forgive myself and my past and learn to let go and move on? Let's affirm. I let go of old limitations and beliefs. I let go and I am at peace. Your day four mirror work exercise. One, stand in front of your bathroom mirror. Two, Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, allow all the tension to leave your body. 3. Look at your forehead and imagine that you are pressing a button that ejects a disc of all the old beliefs and negative thoughts that have been playing in your head. Reach up and imagine that you are pulling this recording out of your head and throwing it away. 4. Now look deeply into your eyes and tell yourself, Let's make a new recording of positive beliefs and affirmations. 5. Say these affirmations aloud. I am willing to let go. I release. I let go. I release all tension. I release all fear. I release all anger. I release all guilt. I release all sadness. I let go of old limitations and beliefs. I let go and I am at peace. I am at peace with myself. I am at peace with the process of life. I am safe. 6. 
Repeat these affirmations two or three times. 7. Throughout the day, whenever any difficult thoughts arise, take out your pocket mirror and repeat these affirmations. Become familiar with them so that repeating them becomes part of your daily routine. The Power is Within You, your Day 4 Journaling Exercise 1. I find that most problems in our lives are caused by what I call the Big Four, criticism, fear, guilt, and resentment. In your journal, create four columns, heading each with one of the Big Four categories. Think about what role they play in your life. Write your thoughts and feelings about each category in the appropriate column. 2. From Step 1, take the two categories you wrote the most about and write down 10 positive affirmations in each category. For example, if one of the categories is resentment, you might write affirmations like, I now choose to release all hurt and resentment. The more resentment I release, the more love I have to give. 3. Everything in our lives is a mirror of who we are. Think of the people in your life who are the most challenging for you. What are the traits that bother you most about them? Write those down. 4. Look at the traits that you listed in Step 3. Write down how each of these traits mirrors a belief that you have about yourself. You might also want to jot down what you have learned about yourself in doing these daily exercises. Your Heart Thought for Day 4 I can let go. We create habits and patterns because they serve us in some way. It is amazing how many illnesses we create because we want to punish a parent. We may not be doing this consciously. In fact, in most cases, it is not conscious. But when we start looking within, we find the pattern. We often create negativity because we do not know how to handle some area of life. If that's the case, ask yourself, what am I feeling sorry about? Who am I angry at? What am I trying to avoid? How do I think this will save me? If you are not ready to let something go, you really want to hold on to it because it serves you, it doesn't matter what you do, you will not be able to let it go. However, if you are ready to let something go, it is amazing how easy it is to release it. Your Day 4 Meditation A New Decade See a new door opening to a decade of great healing, healing that we have not understood in the past. We are in the process of learning all about the incredible abilities that we have within ourselves, and we are learning to get in touch with those parts of ourselves that have the answers and are there to lead us and guide us in ways that are for our highest good. See this new door opening wide and imagine stepping through it to find healing in many, many different forms, for healing means different things to different people. Some of us have bodies that need healing. Some of us have hearts that need healing. Some of us have minds that need healing. So we are open and receptive to the healing that each person needs. We open the door wide for personal growth, and we move through this door knowing we are safe. And so it is.